Step 1. Dissect the capsule with the Palais Intraocular Lens Exchange Cannula. This specifically designed cannula is thin and blunt, which facilitates dissection of the anterior capsule from the intraocular lens. Because it is blunt, it is less likely to tear the capsule, and it allows for a more aggressive dissection. The cannula is ergonomically designed to mimic the anterior curvature of the intraocular lens. The tip of the cannula is well beyond the edge of the optic. This would not be possible with a hypodermic needle. Step two, inject viscoelastic underneath the optic and prolapse the optic out of the capsule or bag. Inject additional viscoelastic underneath the optic. Step three, Use a flat spatula, such as a Coke spatula, to prolapse the entire optic out of the capsule bag, leaving the haptics inside the capsule bag. Step 4. Inject viscoelastic generously near the haptic to expand the capsule bag further. Step 5. Use an intraocular lens hook, such as a Lester hook, to rotate the haptics out of the capsule bag. If the haptic is stuck, additional viscoelastic is injected, and this procedure is repeated until the haptic is freed. Rarely, it is necessary to cut the haptic and leave it behind. Some intraocular lenses have a terminal bulb on the end of the haptic. With generous use of viscoelastic, these haptics can be freed from the capsule or bag. Step 6. Cut the intraocular lens in half using MST forceps and scissors. Several small bites are taken with the scissors to complete cutting the intraocular lens in half. Both halves of the intraocular lens are then removed with forceps. Step 7. Insert the new intraocular lens into the capsule or bag. The lens haptics can be easily rotated into the expanded capsule or bag. Viscoelastic is now aspirated from the eye. At the end of the procedure, the intraocular lens is well centered within the capsule or bag.